Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-77 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitudes of forces F1, F2 and F3 for equilibrium of the particle. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to express each force into the Cartesian vector form. So starting from the force 1, for the force F1, since we have been given the coordinate direction angles for the F1 force, so F1 force in terms of Cartesian vector form can be written as F1 cos 60i plus F1 cos 135j plus F1 cos 60k. And upon simplification, the F1 force becomes 0.5 F1i minus 0.707 F1j plus 0.5 F1k. Similarly, we have to express the F2 force as a Cartesian vector form. So, F2 force has only a single component which is directed towards the positive x-axis. So it is just F2i plus 0j plus 0k. Now for the F3 force, F3 force also has a single component and it is directed in the negative y direction. So F3 is equals to 0i minus F3j plus 0k. We have few more forces. For example, we have this 200 LB force which is acting in the negative z axis and we have this 800 LB force which is acting on the xy plane. So I have to resolve it into its components. So I have a component in the y-axis and the component in the negative x-axis. So let's label them. So this right here I have 800 3 upon 5. So that would be 480. And this right here is 800 4 upon 5. It is equals to 640 LPs. So now, since the particle is in the equilibrium, which means summation of forces in x direction equals to zero, summation of forces in the y direction equals to zero, and summation of forces in the z direction has to be zero. So starting from this equation, so I have summation of forces in the x direction equals to 0. So I have 0 0.5 F1 plus F2. This is 0 so we don't have to write it. And I have this 480 LB component and it is acting in the negative x axis. So negative 480 equals to 0. So let's call this equation 1 and then I have summation of forces in the y direction equals to 0. So we have negative 0 0.707 F1 this is 0 so we don't have to write it and then we have negative F3. And I have this component of 800 LB force and it is directed to in the positive y axis so it could be taken as positive. So plus 640 equals to 0. So upon simplification this above equation becomes 0 0.707 F1 plus F3 equals to 640. And let's call this equation 2. So 
and then I have summation of forces in the z direction equals to zero. So we have so we have zero point five F one. The z components of the F two and F three force are zero, so we don't have to write them. And then I have this force which is acting in the negative z axis, so negative two hundred equals to zero. So from this equation, F one is equals to two hundred divided by zero point five. So F one comes out to be four hundred lbs. So this is our first answer. Now put F1 equals to 400 albies in equation 1 and 2. So from equation 1, from this equation, so I have 0 0.5 F1 which is 400 plus F2 minus 480 equals to 0. So upon simplification, we have 200 plus F2 minus 480 equals to 0. So from here, F2 comes out to be 280 LBs. So this is our second answer. And from equation 2 from this equation so we have 0 0.707 in times f1 which is 400 plus f3 equals to 640 so we have 282.8 plus f3 equals to 640 and when i subtract it from the 640 f3 comes out to be 357 point two albies. So this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Also, if you want to see some more solved problems, then check out the link in the cards button. And I will also leave the link in the description as well for the playlist of chapter 3 Hippaler problem. Thank you.